in the Beko kitchen this morning, Chef Mark is getting some help from our favourite top twins. That's right, and we've got, we're going to do a recipe out of the brand new book. Look at this. I and know. Look at the recipe, what we're going to do. You have to recreate it exactly like that. Oh, I know. You know that, don't you? I've got everything here. <laughs> and next to your cookbook, the greatest cookbook of the year. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, tell, we'll tell you more about this book soon, but what are we actually going to be making? Right, so we've got Dan Dan Noodles Yum. by Freddy. So nice. we'll, find out, we'll find out a bit of the story a little bit later. Yep, but no. it looks fantastic. I yeah. love, love Asian food, really fast. Lots of ingredients here, so I'm very excited. It is great to be back in the Beko kitchen with the Top Twins. Welcome, Linda. Thank Welcome, you. Jules. Yeah, it's very yeah. exciting to be here. Yeah, well, no, we love it when you guys come in. Yeah. And Mark, how cool is this? This is awesome. We've actually it? got yeah. two great chefs in the kitchen. Well, and you, Mike. <laughs> 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 oh, great. <laughs> now, they've got a new book out. We're going to talk about that a little more. I'm going to ask you some questions while we're cooking. But who out of the two of you does the most cooking? Linda. She's, she's, I'm she's, the, she's, the, I'm she's the, a local chef now. I'm the chef of the family. And, oh, and, yes. and, and not only do we have the book out, but we actually, Jules and I and my partner, have bought the Top Country Cafe in Methven. So you can go there and actually we'll start making things out of the book for you. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. We already have a lot of things on the menu. But, yeah, it's kind of... It's growing. It's top country is the sort of thing that just keeps giving and giving and giving. You know? and, I, and I've heard a lot about this cafe, so if you're ever in the area, you must stop <laughs> and visit <laughs> and uh, say hi to the team. But today we're making Dan Dan Noodles. Yeah, Freddy's yeah, yeah. Dan Dan Noodles. This is Who's Freddy? Asian. Freddy is just the coolest dude. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, him and Tanner do these amazing um, Asian cooking Asian cooking classes. This is Szechuan. You have yeah. to know that it's, you know, it's you can, Szechuan. Szechuan yes. part of different part of China. And, okay. it's, it's, and this, this is one like street is, cooking. This, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. street cooking. Yeah. So it's like it's the simple dish. It's really flavoursome, but it's easy to make. All the ingredients you can get pretty easily in, in your know, you know, local markets. store. Yeah. Well, even all these, uh, these Sichuan peppers. Yeah, Sichuan, you know, that's, yeah. that's really, yeah. really easy to get hold of now. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got Sichuan peppers on there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like five spice in the country. You know, like, when people talk about five spice and all that sort of stuff now, you know, and everyone knows what we're talking about now. You know, mum and dad, they've never had it. They've, you know, they worry if there's something like garlic in their, in their, in their meal. But now, Many years you know, ago, there was a little bit of curry powder. Right. You know, yeah. 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 And the yeah, yellow tin. That would have been the, the biggest the, the spice biggest mix, yeah. <laughs> in the cupboard. And there's two recipes that can sort of go with this one. There's a, a lau, 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 I think it's called, lau. Yeah. Mm. Hang on, which I'll is just oil. The book. It's a chili oil <laughs> that it's you like make Google up, the and then you can add that to this dish as well to spice it up a little yeah. bit again. So uh, if you want to get a bit yeah. sort of so yeah, so Tanner made the layu chili, yeah, and then Dan Dan made the noodles, and they combined it at the end. Oh, yeah, it fantastic! Yeah. yeah, Mike loves it spicy, so oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an extra spicy. Yeah. spicy. Wow, well, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Who, Watch out. Okay, so we need to get cooking. So what have you been doing, Mark? Right, so I've got some um, ginger chopped up, garlic yep. chopped up, and the white part of the spring onion, and we're going to saute all that together. Oh, yep. so I'm doing the work. Now. Yes, yeah, so you're doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> See how we've turned it around on you. Yeah, now. that's good. What happens is once you become a chef and you've got a cookbook out, you get other people to do all the cooking. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a cookbook. But you see, the thing we want people to know that they can. That this is this. It's like it's a coffee easy. table book, but right. it's also it's like an idiot you can, can do, do it. the recipes in it. You know, you can self. You can do it at home. Yeah. yeah. And look, and you know, it's, it's a, how did you find the people that you talked to in this book? I, mean, was, I was part was of another easy. project, but how do you find them? It was just so easy. It was an amazing team behind yeah. the whole thing. It wasn't just Jules and me. It was an amazing team who worked on the on the production. And and what happened was that we started looking for people, and then the word got out a little bit, and then people started ringing the office saying, you should talk to Joe and Mary. Or, oh, that's you should brilliant, talk to isn't it? Yeah. These people have got an amazing farm, and they do amazing projects. So and they were so inspiring to talk yeah. to the people in the, yeah. that we went to. It was, yeah. And the thing about it was, is they really knew what they were doing because it was their passion. Yeah. Yeah. So it passion, wasn't hard for yeah. us to get the information yeah. out of them. Mm. And it was a real joy for us. And to we be, learned you know. that actually in New Zealand, it's not hard to cook really good, tasty food. There you go. It's all about got, the produce, isn't it? Yeah, if you've it? got yeah. the right produce and if you've got stuff that's really beautifully looked after to begin with, like, you know, all the, all the, the animals were just, you know, we're looking at organics, we're looking at, you know, amazing you know, grass-fed beef, you know, and all that sort of stuff, and grain finished and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to, you know, it's going to be tasty and it's going to be good. Oh, and yeah, these so kind of dishes here are cool. You know, you can put them all out like this and yeah. act like you're a big-time chef. <laughs> That's right. You <laughs> put them cool. all out in little bowls and then you just pour them in. And if your people are watching, you've, they've come for dinner earlier on. They're like, ooh, Because th this is so easy to be able to go that and tip it in, that you're making dinner. This is how I speak at home. Yeah, 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 it's great. I well, well, invite them a bit earlier and uh, I get them to cook What's, it. Well, we put all sorts of stuff in here now. We've got... Well, we're making the Sesame, this is the sesame yeah. dressing mm. that's yes, going to go with that. That's yes, all the flavours. You know? So we've got peanut butter in there, we've got soy in there, a little bit of honey. Um, I'm going to toast some Szechuan peppercorns in there. That's going to go in a little bit later. Yeah. Nice. Um, 
Sesame oil in there as well, and the uh, Chinese rice wine. Oh, we are cooking with the Top Twins this morning, making Freddy's Dan Dan noodles, uh, which is fantastic, smelling incredible. Yeah. Who would have thought, you know, back in 1982, the Top Twins go vinyl, one of your very first yeah. albums, and yeah. here you are on television taking us through a culinary journey <laughs> um, with Asian influences. You, know, you, have to, you, you have to absolutely have to diversify in this country. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're, we're going from, from, from Camp Mother to Camp Meter to kids' books now cooking. Oh, you know, you've just done a kids' book too, yeah. haven't you? Anyway, so, let's get cooking. What have I done? We've got to get the beef in there now, buddy. Okay. That's going to go much in. Too much talking. Too much talking. And we've got the the uh, the um, the one pepper, in pepper is is in here. Just getting got to heat it up. Bit. What you have to do with things like that is you heat them up, and you get that flavour comes out before you chuck them into your your actual mixture. That's the trick. Heat things up a little bit, you know. That is, and you'll start smelling it now, yeah, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once you start to smell it, you know that you're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys cooked all of the recipes in the book? No, uh, but we're, I've, I, I, actually, my last one was um, I cooked the um, the deli dal, which is amazing. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And I made, I made it with this French organic. Marbled da, dal. Nice. Green, yeah. French organic. It's okay, amazing. that's weird, Jules. That's getting too weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's all sorts of different dal. And dal just a bit actually, of dal, just it, a packet of dal, get a packet of dal and chuck it in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's. Don't um, over overcomplicate Dal doesn't taste like anything. It's what you put in it. Jules, concentrate. Exactly. We're what doing dan dan noodles. Don't, get you, don't, don't try and do two recipes at the same time. <laughs> what you've got to do is you've got to get the book, get the book. It's a great thing because you can have it as a coffee table book and just read it because there's yeah. all sorts of stories oh, in there. Great stories. Well. stories yeah. 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 All about the, the people we met. And what you should do is you start at the beginning and you cook everything. Go through the book. You can have a culinary journey in your own oh, kitchen. Fantastic. Nice. How many recipes have you got in the book? 75. I wow. Think. Yeah. And of course, you know, Lorna and Mavis and, 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 um, oh, and Camp Mother. They're getting and Camp a little bit, they're getting a bit. Put them in done. there and we'll crush them up. Have all their tips at the end, you know. Oh, great. Lorna, Top tips. Uh, Lorna's and, and Mavis's, you know, finger food for cocktail parties, <laughs> you know. They're they're little mushrooms like that made out of hard boiled eggs. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's ha they're about having fun too, you know. That's and, it. and do something like this. Invite your mates over yeah. and all get in the kitchen and, and say, okay, put everything out and say, okay, let's all try and make this together. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And, and look, honestly, we are we achieving. Yeah, and we guarantee no one will be voted off. <laughs> <laughs> I like that concept. Yeah. yeah. Right, but, yeah. Know, it's got exciting no. being a chef, isn't it, mate? It is. It's, it's it, times, it's exciting. It times, it's yeah, it's great fun. Yeah. Well, what okay. have you learned about cooking since you know you've done a few? I think I, the thing I've learned most because I've had to sort of become a bit of a cook, you know, because yeah. I'm I'm actually the what the the head cook, head at, chef at, um, at Top Country Cafe. I call myself the cook because I haven't done any sort of paperwork or pulled in any exams or anything. Like Mark here, he's probably done years and years and years of it. <laughs> yeah. But Got I'm actually paperwork. better than him now because I'm actually out there practicing doing it. He's just on TV. He's a celebrity <laughs> chef. <laughs> but what happens is that you've got to have a go and you've got to right. have a few failures before you actually get That's it right. That's how you learn. That's, That's how, how you, you learn. get it right. Don't be scared to have a go. No, 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 that's it. That looks great. Yeah. I like it's the way you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're really getting in there. Oh, yeah. I'm talking well, yeah, I'm yeah, that's that's three good. years yeah. it's taken. It's three years, yeah. no, you're right. No, it's really good now. Is that hoisin? That is um, that is a bean paste. Oh, bean paste. Okay. Let me have a look. Is, is I'm having a look at the box. Uh, so we've got check the it out, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> There's your hoisin. Are they oh, following yeah. the recipe all right? Yes, we are. We're following the recipe perfectly. And you and you know what the best thing about chefs? They take a recipe and then they just go off piece. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. yeah, make it up as you go along. Well, that's the great thing. You can. You can at, at home, you might look in the cupboard and you think, I haven't got any of that. I'll you have to adapt. use something else. Yeah, and which is yeah. great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can mix yeah. and mingle. What's and if the biggest all flavor? fails, if you've got a can of beer or a nice beer or a nice <laughs> IPA or something, pour that in. Well, well that's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> With the failures you were talking about before, what has been your biggest failure? Um, I've had a couple of failures in the kitchen. Yeah. Only the two. Oh, good. Yes, only good. the two. That's good. Um, and one of them was, um, you know, when you do your pancakes. Yeah. The yeah. first pancake is always a failure. <laughs> no, yeah. but that's the chef's uh, treat. You get to eat them. Yeah, yeah. So the oh, first, yeah, true. first, and that, <laughs> and, but you shouldn't worry about that because what happens is your mixture is starting to get to room temperature and do all those things, and then it settles in, and then you, and your te pan temperature comes up because we always want to put the pancake in before the temperature of the pan is yeah. up to the right. That. Don't be too eager. Slow cook cooking is better than fast cooking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, well, Mark, uh, Freddie Stand and Noodles, the top twins, I think they approve. Do you approve, yeah, ladies? Yeah, good. Perfect. Perfect. Nice work. Yeah. Oh, Smell yeah. it from here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, get into it. What a new take on savouring <laughs> <laughs>